what's going on YouTube welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Detroit Lions franchise last week the Lions were on the road again for the second straight week in Green Bay and they suffered probably their worst loss of the season against Green Bay 20 to 7 and it more than likely knocked them out of the NFC North race Green Bay probably wrapped that one up with the win this week they're on the road again hoping to avoid their third straight loss against the Rams. Lions, Rams, coming up next. Matt Flynn and the Lions will get the ball to start out. He filled in well against the Bears, but last week against the Packers, he was 11 for 33. And not very good. We hope he can turn around this week. First and 10, handoff to Justin Forsett up the middle. And Forsett gets a pretty decent gain there. Third and three now for the Lions. Flynn under center will hand off to Forsett. Trying to pick up that first down to the middle, and he is stuffed. A short gain, and the Lions have to punt Sam Bradford, and the Rams come out. He is, he's thrown for over 3,000 yards, 18 touchdowns, 16 interceptions, and the Rams 5-9 coming into this game. Bradford back to pass here. will step up, fire downfield to Jared Cook, and Cook is going to pick up the first down. Second and nine now for the Rams. Quick in motion. Bradford back to pass. He's going to find Perry. Jabril Perry downfield. Gets the reception and another first down for the Rams in the Lions territory now at the 35. Bradford going to pass again. Steps up. Fires outside and it is incomplete over the head of his receiver. Second and 10, Bradford hands off to Trey Mason up the middle, and Mason gets a nice gain of 14, and he gets down to the Lions 21. Bradford now from the shotgun, looking to dump it off here on the screen, and he does to Mason, and Mason's got the first down, and he's pushed out of bounds at the five. It'll be first and goal, St. Louis. From the five, Bradford gonna fake the handoff here. Fire and caught by Brian Cook, or oh, Jared Cook there for the touchdown and the Rams score on their opening drive to take a seven to nothing lead. The Lions take over now, hand off to Forsett, trying to get this running game going. He breaks a tackle and busts it outside for a short gain. Third and four now for Detroit and Flynn will do play action deep downfield, caught by Eric Ebron, he's past midfield, all the way down to the Rams 35 yard line. That is a 36 yard gain. First and 10 now, Flynn hands off to Forsett, and Forsett wrapped up in the backfield there for a loss of two. Second and 11 for Detroit. Pistol formation, fake, Flynn firing. Eric Ebron's got the catch, and he's got the first down, down to the 21-yard line. From there, pistol formation again. Ebron, or Flynn back to pass, and sacked on the play a loss of seven. Third down and 11 for Detroit now. Flynn in an empty backfield set. He's gonna step up, fire deep, and it's broken up incomplete. Intended for Eric Ebron and the Lions will kick a field goal and we end the first quarter. Rams on top, seven to three. On EA Sports. Second quarter starts. Rams have the ball in the Lions territory at the 34. Empty backfield set. Bradford going to fire and caught by Perry for a first down. Second and eight now. Another empty backfield set for the Rams. Bradford looking to pass. Going to step up and his pass falls incomplete as he hit was hit as he threw. Third and eight now for St. Louis. Shotgun formation. So Bradford's going to step up, and he's going to go down, sacked by Sue on the play, and that'll bring a fourth down and a field goal by St. Louis to take a 10-3 lead. Lions take over now, third and one, handoff to four set up the middle, and he gains six and a Detroit first down. First and ten for the Lions, Bradford under center, Flynn under center, looking to pass. He's going to fire, caught by Ernest Sherrod. Short of the first down by a yard, but they would pick it up. Later on the drive, it's second down and seven. Hand off to Forsett up the middle. He's got the first down and more. A gain of 12 for Justin Forsett, and he's got 52 yards on 11 carries in this game so far. From the Rams, 32-yard line, it's third and 10. 
Flynn stepping up, firing outside, deep downfield, caught by Ernest Sherrod for the first down. He's having a great rookie year, and the Lions have first and 10 now from the St. Louis 10. Hand off to Forsett on first down, and he's going to go down for no gain on the play. Second and nine now from the shotgun. Flynn looking, and his pass almost picked off after it floated as he was hit as he threw, but it falls incomplete. Third and nine now. Sherrod in motion. Flynn back to pass here. Looking, firing, caught by Sherrod, and he will be tackled down at the six, short of the end zone and the Lions would kick another field goal to make it 10-6. Rams take over now, and a dump off to Trey Mason is going to go nowhere. A loss of three on the play, tackled by DeAndre Levy. Second and 13, Bradford going to pass out of an empty backfield set. He's going to step up in the pocket, fire, and Brian Quick, wide open, cannot make the catch. He has butterfingers. Third and 13 now for the Rams. Bradford's pass picked off by Levy, and he's going to take this one back to the 42-yard line. A short return, but the Lions get the takeaway and are in business in St. Louis territory at the 38 now. Second and six. Flynn, his pass is incomplete. He was hit as he threw that one. Third and six now. Flynn going to pass here. Looking for the first down outside. Broken up by the St. Louis defender, and the Lions have to punt. Ensuing punt here is going to be out of bounds at the six. A very nice punt there for Detroit and Sam Martin. First and 10 as the Rams take over here with just over a minute to go in the half. Bradford's gonna dump it off to Brian Quick, and Quick close to the first down. The Rams will take a timeout. It'll be second down and two from an empty backfield set. Bradford. Quickly passes to Mario Hemingway, and, or, I don't think that's Mario Hemingway, but they get the first down. First and 10, Bradford looking to pass here outside, and it's caught by Stedman Bailey for the first down catch with just under 45 seconds to go. It's now under 30 to go. Second and 10 from their own 34. Bradford stepping up, going deep, and caught by Perry. Somehow makes that reception. It gets the first down. It's first and 10 now from the Lions, 45. Bradford back to pass, will step up, fire outside, and his receiver cannot hang on. Second and 10 now. Bradford will hand off to Mason, trying to get outside. He will be stopped, and that will stop this drive for St. Louis. They decide to go into half, up 10 to six over Detroit. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Rams get the ball to start the second half. First and 10, Bradford back to pass, looking to dump it off on a screenplay, and that does work. Trey Mason with the catch, and he gets close to the first down marker as we look at the halftime stats here. St. Louis doing a lot through the air. Detroit not doing a whole lot on the ground or the air, though they do lead the time possession. Third and one for St. Louis. Bradford handoff to Mason. He gets outside here, up past the 40, past the 45. Pushed out at the 48-yard line. First down, St. Louis. Second and eight now for the Rams. Bradford looking to pass. Good blocking. Avoids a sack. Steps up. Fires deep. And almost picked off by, is that Darius Slay, I believe? So it'll be third and eight for the Rams. Bradford going to pass for it. Fires outside. Caught by Trey Mason. But he's pushed out of bounds at the 44. Short of the marker. And the Rams punt. The Lions take over, hand off to Forsett on first and 10, and he's going to gain five. Second and five now for the Lions. Handoff goes to Forsett again up the middle, getting close to the marker. Will they give it to him here? They do. First and 10, Detroit now. Handoff again to Forsett, and Forsett will be stopped for a gain of only one. Second and nine for Detroit now. From the shotgun, Flynn back to pass, setting up screen to Forsett. He's got the catch, he's got the first down and more. He's up to midfield and hit and fumbles the ball. Picked up by Janoris Jenkins and an injury timeout as well here. The fumble and on top of that, Justin Forsett goes down with an injury. Hit big there. We have to hope that he is not injured significantly. The Rams take over at midfield here, third and eight. 
Bradford steps up. He's going deep, and it's caught by Perry down to the Detroit 22-yard line. That is a 30-yard gain. First and 10, St. Louis handoff to Trey Mason. He's wrapped up by Jason Jones for a loss on the play, and Mason is down on the ground as well. Another injured running back, this time St. Louis with the injury. Second and 11 for the Rams now. Bradford looking to pass here. Lots of time, good blocking. He steps up, fires, and caught by Brian Quick. Wide open in the end zone there. Brian Quick with the touchdown. As we get another look here, they just stood there. He realized nothing was happening and took off downfield and beat Bill Bentley. And the Rams take a 17-6 lead. Lions take back over here. And Matt Flynn going deep on the first play of the drive to Calvin Johnson. It's caught by Johnson, but the Johnson that plays for St. Louis, and it's an interception. Rams take over. Sam Bradford back to pass on third and nine, and he's going to go down on the play. And the Rams cannot get anything off the turnover. The Lions take over now after the St. Louis punt. Bradford going to hit Calvin Johnson on first and 10 and into St. Louis territory. Quick update on the Forsett injury. It wasn't serious. He's back in the game now, and he gets the handoff on second and seven, and he's going to fight his way forward for a gain of six. They would pick up the first down on third down. First and 10 now. Shotgun formation, Flynn back to pass. He's going to go deep here and caught by Calvin Johnson over the defender, pushed out of bounds at the six-yard line. What a throw there by Matt Flynn. First and goal from the six, handoff to Forsett, fighting his way forward, trying to get the end zone, but he only gets a gain of three. Second and goal now for Detroit. Joyce Bell in the backfield. He gets the handoff. And he's going to go down after no gain on the play. And the end of the third quarter is here. St. Louis on top, 7-6 to six over Detroit. Detroit looking to punch this one in for a touchdown to start the fourth quarter. Third and goal, handoff to Forsett. And he weaves his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And Detroit gets closer to St. Louis with that touchdown by four set there. A three-yard touchdown. And the Lions are going to go for two here to get within a field goal. Flynn from under center looking to pass. A quick pass is low for Calvin Johnson and incomplete. And it will remain a five-point lead for the Rams as they take over now. Second and three. Handoff to Zach Stacy outside. He gets the first down and more. A gain of 13. First and 10 for St. Louis. Bradford back to pass here. Going to lob that one for a screen to Roy Hulu Jr. He's got it. He's down the field, and he's pushed out of bounds at the Detroit 26-yard line. That's a 30-yard gain, and the Rams have first and 10. This dump off to Perry is going to be gain of three. He'll be second down for... The Rams, second and seven from the Lions, 23. Bradford going to hand off to Zach Stacy outside. He breaks a tackle. He breaks a second tackle. He, he gets hit hard, and he fumbles the ball. Picked off, picked up by Copeland, and he's got the recovery for Detroit. Their second takeaway of the day. We have another injury, and this time it is in the secondary. Bill Bentley down on the play. We have to update his injury in a bit here. First and 10 for Detroit as they take over after the takeaway. Flynn going deep, caught by Calvin Johnson. He's up past the 40, taken down at the 43-yard line. And the update on Bentley is a bruised sternum. He is out for the game. Third and 10 now for Detroit. Flynn looking to pass to the first downs, going deep and broken up. Incomplete. And the Lions have to punt. Rams take over now, still up by five. Bradford's pass caught by Brian Quick over the middle. He's got the first down, and the Rams drive will continue. First and 10 from their own 32. Hand off to Zach Stacy. He gets outside here, tries to cut it back up the middle, but is wrapped up short of the marker. Third and one now for the Rams. Lions need a stop, hand off is a fake and it goes deep to Jared Cook, the tight end, down the field, he goes inside the 10, they will not catch him, touchdown, St. Louis, and they extend their lead, 24 to 12 over the Lions, they cannot 
believe they could not get that tackle there as they take over on offense now first and 10 lobbing this one up deep for Ernest Sherrod it is caught a gain of 24 out of bounds at almost midfield here first and 10 Flynn back to pass will fire deep and caught by Calvin Johnson on the comeback route and the Lions just like that are into Rams territory at the 29 second and seven Flynn back to pass looking dumps it off to Forsett and Forsett's got a first down catch inside the red zone now at the 19. Later on in the drive, it's third and 12. Flynn back to pass here, looking, firing for the end zone, caught by Kelvin Johnson out of the end zone there, and they're inside the 10, first and goal from the eight. Flynn now on first and goal, handoff to Forsett, and Forsett is wrapped up after a gain of one. Second and goal now for Detroit. Flynn back to pass here. Looking, looking, fires it, and over the head of his receiver, out of bounds, incomplete, and it'll be third down and goal for Detroit. Flynn out of the shotgun here, passes, caught by Calvin Johnson, but he cannot reach the end zone, and it'll be fourth down and goal, and Detroit will be going for it. From the three, Flynn going to pass, and his pass way off the mark, hits a lineman, and incomplete and just like that that is how this one ends the Rams take this one 24 to 12 over Detroit handing them their third straight loss overall and third straight loss on the road before you get over the loss well the Lions had more offense than last week against the Packers on the road but they still were not able to put points on the board and get the road victory for set closed in on 100 yards got only got 81 Johnson nine catches 122 yards on the day Copeland with the fumble recovery for the Lions and their third straight loss and some contract news on Sue he did not accept our first offer so we have to go back in there and make a better offer we're gonna go ahead and up that five years 14 million a year keep the three million dollar bonus a total value of 85 million i really hope this is what he's looking for as we take a look at the standings the lions coming going into week 17 need a miracle they are not going to win the nfc north they do not have a chance they need a win against the seahawks at home and an eagles loss to even have a shot and I don't even know if that will help them get in the playoffs at 9-6. and six, The Lions will face the Seattle Seahawks, who are also fighting for the NFC West division title against the 12-3 and three San Francisco 49ers, who the Lions also beat on the road, as I should mention. So it's a tough game for both these teams that will be trying to get that victory next week in the final week of the regular season. If you like this week's episode, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in week 17 against the Seahawks at home.